Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do Bailey Vibes for, what is it, March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, something like that. Timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we got? What do we have here? What is going on? Of course. And the camera is slipping. <laughs> so the camera is slipping. It's falling apart. Look at that shit. That was funny because I was just looking at the Queen of Pentacles. I was in my head. I was thinking about the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see if we can get this damn thing not to fall down. Um, yeah, see if we can keep it upright. Remember, everything that happens during a reading is part of the message. So, hopefully we can get this thing to uh, stabilize. Let's see. Okay, we got a few cards underneath that Queen of Pentacles. Looks like she knows her value, right? She's very valuable. She is uh, stable. She's solid. She's a businesswoman. She is very capable. She's got the gold in her hand or the golden opportunity. She is holding on to her value. She knows her value. Okay, she does know her value. Now this is about communication. Something about communication moving forward. Um, now the Queen of Pentacles is very devoted. She's a hard worker. She's a homemaker. She's a natural. She's down to earth. She's touchy. She's touchy feely. She's sensual. Okay. So she's got, she's holding something. She's holding on to her value. She's holding on. She's hold. Yeah, she is. Ooh. Eee. So there's something to do with communication and not happy. Somebody's not happy. Not happy with something. Um, thinking. Thinking about. A loss of some sort very emotional time um, it's like there's an offer of love but somebody doesn't really want it or they want it but they're I don't know they're thinking too much hmm. this cup doesn't look like it has anything in it these two do so there's an opportunity for a partnership here but there's a lack of emotion. Somebody is not being emotional. And it's like there's this big opportunity that is being missed. So somebody may be missing a big opportunity for love, focusing on a partnership that where there's no reciprocation. Okay? Because you notice uh, right here, this cup doesn't seem to have anything in it. There's no love coming from this cup. There's no emotion coming from this cup. Then we have the two of cups, which is a partnership. So it's like we have somebody here that is focused on, you know, a situation where they're not. There's no love. Okay. There's, there's something. It's like they're not getting any love. Okay. There's no love coming out of that cup. Up here, there is an opportunity for love that is being missed. So somebody, it looks like it's a feminine to me. That's what it looks like. doesn't have to be in this sense. But it looks like we have somebody here that is, you know, missing an opportunity for love, focusing on somebody that, or something, a partnership that doesn't love them. You know, there's no emotion. There's a lack of emotion here. But there's an opportunity that is being missed. So somebody is missing an opportunity for love. Focusing on a, on somebody that maybe this person just isn't emotionally available. Now it could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it looks as though this is messages. This is also the rods of love. So it looks like there's 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 love coming towards this person. So there is a message that is coming. Somebody is about to send a message. Now this person, the Queen of Pentacles, is very valuable and she knows it. Now I just happened to notice the roses. Now this is about romance. It's about love. 
It's a very fertile time for love. Now, she is very down-to-earth, very grounded, very giving, very generous. A very generous queen here. Something about uh, news arriving, discontent, over focusing on, you know, a partnership where there's a lack of... Uh, well, obviously, there's nothing in that cup. These ones are overflowing with emotion, okay? This one's not, doesn't have anything in it. Interesting. So somebody is missing an opportunity. And there's a big opportunity that she is missing. So she is missing a big opportunity for love. So somebody is missing an opportunity for love. Oh, this card didn't come up. We're going to take it. Ooh, page of Pentacles reversed. So this is somebody who is lack of commitment. So that's why this person isn't uh, reciprocating because it's, they they know they don't want a commitment or they're foolish. This is somebody who's lacking common common sense. Doesn't want any responsibility. Just isn't interested. So I feel like we have somebody here that isn't interested. They're not interested in reciprocating. And this person is focusing on the person that isn't interested. Interesting. <laughs> somebody is focusing on a person that just isn't interested. That's all there is to it. Oh, yeah. Page of Cups reverse. There's a lack of reciprocation. It's unrequited love. So, somebody is missing an opportunity. Yeah, that is a missed opportunity. Not seeing that there's a better opportunity for love. So, somebody may be losing an opportunity or missing an opportunity for love, because that is the Ace of Cups right there, because they're just not putting in effort. They're not emotionally available. We have one person in this scene that just is not emotionally available. Their heart isn't ready. They may be insincere as well. We could have somebody here that is insincere. And this person is focusing on the person that is insincere. What the hell is this? Yeah, not putting in effort. Not really putting in effort. Uh not proving themselves not doesn't care I feel like we have somebody here that just doesn't care not working hard enough we have somebody here that is not working hard enough to uh, well look at all these pages communicate because this is communication and this is communicate now we got all these pages we could have somebody here that is immature emotionally immature or something like that i mean the page of swords reversed is uh somebody that is argumentative doesn't really communicate well so we have somebody here that is not working hard enough They may be naive. We could have somebody here that is naive. We could have a liar. I mean, with all these pages reversed, we could be dealing with somebody who's not being honest or something. Oh, what is going on? Five of, there's a competition of some sort. That's a competition. It's a tug of war, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So we have somebody here that has been um, going back and forth. Not sure what they want to do. But this Five of Wands is reversed. So it's like, I don't know if it's the end. I don't know. With all these pages reversed, I think there's some sort of major competition here. I think we have somebody here that is still in a state of competition. Hmm. Yeah, there's somebody's not being treated fairly. There's unfair treatment here. Somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's not being honest. And you may somebody may not be being honest with themselves. Okay? Somebody may not be being honest with themselves. They could be dealing with somebody that is not emotionally available. Somebody that doesn't tell the truth. It's a dead end. The page of pentacles reversed is a dead end. It's like they're focusing on a dead end. It's like this person's heart isn't open or something with the page of cups reversed. They don't really uh, 
want to put in effort. They're probably not looking for a commitment. You know, the page of pentacles reversed is like a no, no commitment. And it's foolish. It's foolish behavior. Now, the justice, the justice reversed is, um, not happy with the outcome. Somebody is not going to be happy with the outcome. They're not happy with the, with the competition. There's some sort of competition here. Let's go back over to the Queen of Pentacles. There's an injustice of some sort. Somebody's not telling the truth. Ooh, there may be a rejection. Six of Pentacles reverse is a rejection. So I wonder what's going on here. The Queen of Pentacles it looks like she's looking at a rejection. She may be doing some sort of rejecting. I'm not sure. Six of Pentacles is firing. Reversed. Six of Pentacles is reversed. She could be a boss or she's a businesswoman, like I said, or or whatever. But the Six of Pentacles reverse is a rejection. Okay? It is um, an injustice as well. And an inequality. Okay, somebody's not being treated. You know, there's no equal give and take. There isn't. It's like she's she's offering something big, and there's no real. And this is lack. Of, there's lack of reciprocation here. There's not any equal give and take. So now there could be an abuse. Now this could be an abuse of generosity. She's very generous. I'm not sure what is going on. She's giving something by the looks of things. I don't know. Oh, the hair of font. Now, the hair of font is about commitment. The hair of font is about commitment. There's a higher power involved. That is a godly energy. We could be dealing with a Taurus. We could be dealing with a Libra. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, all, everybody is here. Um, but the hair of font is about faith. It's about having faith. It's about believing. It's about gut. Following your gut. The hair of font is the highest authority okay and the and the highly highly intuitive so we have a channeler a higher power somebody that has access to god okay so this is a teacher of some sort a counselor or a spiritual teacher or whatever this there's uh something to do with commitment believing following your gut about you know the six of pentacles reversed is it's like this is a rejection of some sort there's not, this is, there's no equal give and take. We could have somebody here that, um, I don't know if they're using somebody. They may be using another person. Oh God. We have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now we have, when you get the Wheel of Fortune reversed, this is, uh, negative repetitive patterns. Oh, bastard. It is making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Mm. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is a setback. It is a setback. Mm. And this is a setback, too. There's going to be a loss. This is a big loss. Somebody is going to have a huge loss. The Wheel of Fortune reverse a huge loss. There is a higher power involved here. There's some sort of protection by the looks of things. Somebody's going to lose something. They with the Six of Pentacles reversed too. What the hell is this? A message. Losing a relationship perhaps. Ten of Cups is about a relationship, happily ever after. But this is a horrendous loss, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Shocking, unpredictable, horrendous loss. A fall from grace. Bad luck. And this is bad luck as well. So somebody's going to be experiencing a loss. And, and tens are completions. We have a ten here and a ten here. So there, there could be the end of a relationship. It doesn't manifest because she's got manifestation in her hand. That pentacle is manifestation. A message is going to be coming, okay, towards this person. A message is coming towards this person. And it is a message of love. But she may not see it because she's focused on something else. She's focused. We have somebody that is focused on an unrequited love situation of some sort. 
with somebody that is very um I don't know, this person may be playing some sort of games. This is a gay tug of war is a game. Childish. We have somebody here that is childish. We have all these children. Okay, there's like three children here. It could be one, but whatever. Something about children. Um, but this is a completion. It is, but it leads to happiness. So there's going to be a message that is delivered to this person that is not feeling loved. Okay, she's not feeling loved. She's not. There's, she's, she's not feeling loved. She's going to be getting a message of some sort. Oh, now the Six of Wands. That's my hero. That is your hero. That's my hero card. The Six of Wands. This is a warrior. This is a wounded warrior. He's been through some sort of battle. He's come out on top. The battle is over and he's coming to the rescue. So who is this guy? Um, this is victory after sorrow. So we do have a... And this is being recognized. Public recognition. Somebody may be recognizing something. Hmm. It's something about you win. You win. You win. Victory. It's a big win. It's a yes. Yes. Something about me, maybe famous. I don't know. Something about you win being recognized. Five of Pentacles reverse. This is, um,. There's been some sort of abandonment or neglect. But coming out of that neglect. Light at the end of improvements. Some sort of improvements. Something is about to get better. But the five of pentacles reverse can also be a major loss. So there's victory after some sort of loss. After some sort of injustice. Somebody may have not been being treated fairly. Somebody wasn't being honest with themselves. Or being honest with another person. There's some definitely. There's some fear of commitment. Or something. Somebody may not have been putting in effort. Because. I don't know why. Because they weren't emotionally available. By the looks of things. With the page of cups reversed. Um, they were definitely going back and forth. Struggling. Really really struggling. Struggling with letting go of somebody. Now we have these two fives. Five five five. Expect the unexpected. Five five five. Uh, life change. Life is about to change, and it's a and it's a positive change. Okay, something positive is coming. There's going to be a message for this person that is uh, sad. She's looking sad for some reason. Uh, she's going to be getting a message. It's a good message. It's a positive message. And this person is is it could be somebody that's famous. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. This person is a hero, though. The, this person has been through some sort of battle. They've come a long way. They've learned a lot of things along the way. There's probably been some bloodshed in their past. And they're coming with, like, that's the victory wreath, right? They're, they're ready to do something. Okay, this is a warrior. And this is a protector. So this person is a protector. Um, five of pentacles reversed. This is something about circumstances getting better. Something is about to get better. Somebody has been struggling to communicate or to open their heart or whatever. Oh, there it is. Ace of Cups. So an offer of love is coming. It is coming. There it is. Remember I told you it was right here. So there is an offer of love that is coming. For this person that is struggling. Okay. She is struggling. She's struggling. So it looks to me like we have somebody here. That you know. This guy is. Uh, making. Uh, making an entrance. Okay. He is. He's making an entrance. And you're, she's, this person is going to receive some sort of message. Or a word or something. I don't know. Maybe it's about love, because this is the Ace of Cups. It's the new start in love. It is affection, somebody showing affection, you know, uh, deepening a bond, emotional honesty, whereas, and where they've been dishonest. Somebody may have not been expressing their feelings. 
You know, they've been going back and forth. So I'm wondering what the hell is going on here. But this is an offer of love. So somebody is going to be... And, and maybe it's a new relationship. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody is going to... It's like their relationship is stepping it up to the next level. It may happen suddenly. Now the Wheel of Fortune reverse is a setback. It is a setback. Of some sort. There's been some sort of rejection, or there could be a rejection. The Queen of Pentacles, she knows her value, and she holds on to her value. There's a higher power involved. This higher power, I mean, sees all. This is about marriage and commitment as well. Something about marriage and commitment. But this is uh, maybe stuck. Somebody may be stuck. Death. Death. Death is an ending. It's a major ending. It's the biggest ending of them all, right? Death. It's profound change. It's a transformation. It's a transition. New beginning. A new beginning is coming after a horrendous loss. Because this is your horrendous loss. So whatever has been lost was a blessing in disguise. Because now we have a new beginning. That was brought. This what happened. You know, this is a higher power. This is a higher power. So a higher power is bringing a new beginning after a horrendous loss of some sort. There's been a horrendous loss of a relationship that probably broke somebody's heart. Because it's a separation and loss. So if, and, and that's why they were not emotionally available, the Page of Cups reversed. But now I feel like something is about to happen. Something, and it's going to happen. It may be suddenly. It may be happening suddenly. It's like, okay, you win. You win. So things are about to improve. That's what I have to say. Um, we have a major new beginning here after a big huge loss there's a higher power involved i feel like i mean i mean that's that's something that that queen of pentacles she's she's got stability security it's a blessing okay something manifested she has manifested something um love perhaps anyhow i mean the queen of pentacles can be anybody it's somebody who is solid stable secure uh loyal uh, down to earth, grounded, ready. She's obviously ready. She's ready. And she's valuable. So, anyway. So we got this warrior coming in. This guy is a protector. He's a protector. And it's like he's coming to her save, to save her. And this is like, this person needs help. So, I don't know, something is happening. Expect the unexpected with all these fives, okay? Um, life is about to change. It's positive change. It's divinely guided major life changes. There's a new beginning here, and it's a new start in love, and somebody's going to be receiving some sort of message about love. It's like, I don't know. It could be those words. I don't know. Good luck. Those words would be, I love you. Um, not, I don't know. I just wanted to clear that up. Good luck.